prop companies in general, banks uh, have been uh, uh, more used to uh, compliance uh, as, as a, as a must-have over the last years. So, um, in different, uh, depending on the jurisdiction, there's already a legislation in place that it requires as a listed company to have a certain uh, body uh, uh, that takes care of these issues. Uh, in Spain, we find uh, mostly a compliance committee or a compliance officer that is, uh, uh, takes care of this duty. However, it depends on, on each entity uh, what uh, model they're following. Apart from the traditional banking uh, compliance, we're seeing uh, uh, with the internet uh, bank uh, and financial services uh, platforms, uh, uh, we're seeing uh, there uh, an important niche of work where uh, not only financial regulatory work is involved, but also uh, uh, money laundering, anti-money laundering, uh, we see IT uh, uh, involvement and other areas of, of, of the firm that can be benefit from uh, the expansion of this of this uh, uh, sector. Probably is the implementation in November 2014 of the single European uh, supervision mechanism, uh, which uh, has been. Uh, uh, transferred uh, certain supervisory uh, faculties from the uh, central banks of uh, the, the European member states to the central bank in uh, European Central Bank in Frankfurt. This has raised uh, a lot of concern. We've uh, seen uh, Spanish uh, banks, which are still kind of uh, 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 digesting uh, what are going to be the changes arising from there. Um, so we are uh, receiving a number of, of, of pieces of work related to this uh, new, new, new regulation.